it can happen to anybody, anywhere, anytime. And I think that's the vulnerability that, that we all now feel. A sense of safety ripped from the Hugoton community as it continues to search for two mothers missing since March 30th. Investigators in Oklahoma say Veronica Butler and Jillian Kelly were last uh, heard from when they went to pick up children. Their car found just over the Kansas state line in Oklahoma abandoned. They say they also found evidence of foul play but have not released details on what that is. KSN's Julia Thatcher and Peyton Steiner spent the day in Hugoton talking to people there who are devastated by the women's disappearance. Several people I talked to say that all of the unanswered questions makes it more difficult searching for Jillian and Veronica and processing what has happened. Everyone who I spoke to in Hugoton also said that they are in disbelief this is happening here. With every passing minute, there's no doubt that everybody in town is concerned. Pain grows from the unknown. I see those yellow bows and think, well, maybe today, maybe we'll know today. Debbie Nordling knows Veronica and Jillian. She is still trying to wrap her head around their disappearance. I understand when one person might be in trouble, but to me it makes no sense when two of them were together. And these are these were very intelligent ladies. Trying to hold on to hope through the heartache. And you know, we want to know that they're okay and they're gonna come back, but you know, as the days roll by, it's just getting harder and harder to um, stay positive and keep the faith, and it's just hard. The splashes of yellow you know, houses and businesses and mailboxes are a symbol of support the community is giving to the families and each other. So many people would come in and maybe buy one bow, one bow to take home, or maybe they would buy three or four, but the donations were so wonderful. They're not forgotten and that's the most important thing. No matter what people can do is just don't forget. A town determined to never stop searching for answers, even as their new reality sets in. You just realize that there's an awful lot in life you can't fix. Donations from the Bows has now reached over $2,000. That money will be split between Jillian and Veronica's families. I spoke to the Oklahoma State Bureau of Investigation. They said they couldn't do an on-camera interview today. And every question that I emailed them, they said they couldn't answer. It was still part of their investigation. Here for you, Julia Thatcher, KSN News 3.